All right, we are back. We got the bear stocked in Bosco's store, so Bosco can be considerably. Hey, wait a second. Why didn't B Taz pop do work? No idea. My camera! Oh, no, no, no! Yeah, we were here the whole time. We didn't do it. We certainly didn't do it while you were looking out the window. You know, he's got security cameras all over the place. He's gonna know we did. Oh well. Never comes up, so I guess we're fine. Alright. Also, if you'll recall, last time before we signed off, I filled Sybil's mug with ketchup. That's about to become significant. Wink, wink. Sybil's. Sibilance. All right, big old mug of ketchup. Oh my goodness! Thank you. I'd lose my head if it wasn't attached. Yeah, well, you were. That's worried. never stopped me. All right, I wouldn't drink that if I were you. Blood everywhere, supposedly blood. Excellent. Nice and messy. That should send a clear message to any other potential rats. I'm reminded of yesterday's dinner on all points. Hey, what happened to the picture? With all due respect, Don, who cares? Now that she's whacked, we don't need to keep watching her, do we? I suppose so. Give me a pretzel, Chuckles. These things always make me peckish. You're a real sociopath, Don Bear. I mean that as a compliment, naturally. 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 Hey Sam! Webcam tastes like chicken! Good idea, John. Now those toy mafia goons won't see Sybil wake up, which could be important to our continued good health. And we've learned that webcams go great with ketchup. Another fun fact to add to the crime-fighting arsenal. Good to know. Hey Sam! Are we mafiosi yet? No, there's still the matter of the original meatball sandwich. Oh yeah! Sorry about that scare there. She's not we'll gonna talk about it. I know you will. You're the only two I can trust. Oh, really? She should consider guilt slinger as her next profession. Yes. What do you mean guilt slinger? We did everything we could not. I mean, we 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 effectively took care of our job without killing her. All right. The last step. We need to find the missing meatball. Ooh, meatball. Sub, not just one meatball. Fortunately, we know where to find a shady fence. In our own office. And who could it be? But. There we go. Show me the money. Show me the sandwich. Show me the money. You show me the sandwich, I'll show you the money. I will, I tell you. Just show me the money. <laughs> you too? Well, yes, yeah, our office. Bag. Trying to invent something hot, Leonard? Like a meatball sandwich, Leonard? A meatball sandwich you stole, Leonard? You two stay back, or I swear by my mother's bedspread, I'll shoot you both. Just relax, Leonard. Can I get you a refreshing beverage? Maybe a pillow? Move and you're a dead dumb. Sam, has that flaccid old gambit ever worked? All those years of stewardess school don't disappear overnight, Max. Get a good look at the gun he's holding on us. You know, Leonard, little Jimmy Two Teeth there cannot be trusted. He still has our pepper grinder! Hey, I was gonna return it! Oh, so I should trust the two dopes who cheated me out of my fortune instead? Let's pretend it makes sense to say yes to that question. <laughs> Look, I don't trust Jimmy any farther than I can throw him, but fortunately for me, I can throw him a country mile. Hey, what? Max has to notice it. Excuse me, are you by any chance holding us at gunpoint with a harmless cap gun? 
Once a cheat, always a cheat, eh, Leonard? What? No! Sick him, little buddy. I thought you'd never sick! Sick him up real good. Oh! 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 Okay, Leonard, are you gonna tell us where the sandwich is? Or are we gonna have to get rough, her? Say rough! Say rough! I'll never talk. There ain't nothing you can do to break me. Nothing. Does your mother know what you've become? Don't you talk about my mama. My mama's a saint. He didn't Is she talk the saint of Sterno he did fried food? Because if so, she may have another follower. Hold on, Max. I think we've just found our captive's weak spot. Which? His uninspired diction or his laughably bad grammar? Neither. I say we hit this cheating slime receptacle where it hurts the most. Right in the mother. You mean... That's right, Max. It's time to pull out the Yo Mama jokes. Yay! No, not that. Anything but that. Leonard, Yo Mama's so fat. Uh, she's so fat. Oh, curdled goat's milk on a warm summer day. I can never remember the punchlines. That's funny. I remember all the punchlines, but I can never remember the setup. Well then, Max, I think we'll have to break this two-bit farm and as a team. Follow my lead. Yeah, it's basically a variation of of uh, insult sword fighting from Monkey Island. Yo mama's so perky. Perky is not usually a insult. The only time she's low is at a limbo contest. Oh, it's true. It's working. Let's keep it up, little buddy. Why would okay, you be ashamed your mom's grown cheerful? Men weak. A fun pastime for the whole family. Yo mama's so radiant. So radiant. If she fell in nuclear waste, no one would notice. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. Yes, we're definitely making a dent now. Let's keep it up, little buddy. Okay. You're getting a little red in the face. Yo mama's so vulgar. Her mouth would make a longshoreman blush. Oh, Mama, make it stop. He's getting closer to breaking. Let's keep it up, little buddy. Yeah! Yo Mama's so punctual. Not an insult. She showed up early for her own funeral. <laughs> stop! Please, stop! This can all be over if you'll just tell us where the sandwich is. No. Let's hit him one more time, Sam. Yo mama's so fat. She has more folds than an origami accordion. Good one. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll tell you where the sandwich is. Just leave my mama alone. Of course, Leonard. We would never do anything to dishonor your dead mother. <laughs> he never even took the sandwich out of the casino. Hid it in the prize slot of the one-armed bandit. And then took the one arm so no one could win it. Which brings us to the next question. Where's the arm? I got it right here. Thanks, jerkbag! How did you not notice that before? I was too busy taking his cap gun to notice that extra arm. We'd best get back to the casino and win back that sandwich. See you around, sucker! Wait, aren't you gonna untie me? Hello? Guys? Jimmy? Anybody? Well, that went well for us. Is he just going to be in the office the rest of the game? I know he won't be, but that would be kind of funny. Head through to the Soto. Marco. Where are we going, Sam? Soto. We're going to Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland. Teddy Bear's casino. Mafia Free That's Playland and Casino. Goody! Alright. Please, it's Mafia Free, you and me and Teddy Bear. Alright, we've just about done every ding dang thing we need to ding dang do. Welcome to here. Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Yeah. You know what? Home of the losingest slots in town. Yeah, but when the slots lose and we win, we don't get nothing. So who cares? All right. Not only did I recover your arm, I also recovered your sandwich. So Trish good for me. An unarmed bandit, no longer. 
Apparently you win every time, you just don't get nothing. Excuse me, I burped and I didn't mean to. You're on fire. Success. Here's the meatball sandwich. Should we taste it to make sure? Sweet Tomain, no. Did that thing just give you a prize? Must be out of adjustment. I'll have it serviced. On the plus side, we've recovered the original meatball sandwich. And what a pungent piece of sculpture it is! I'm surprised we couldn't smell it from downtown. Let me see that. Hmm. Yes, that's definitely the sandwich. Teddy Bear will be very pleased. Is he hungry? Generally, yes. You've done well, boys. Follow me to the back room. There's a little initiation ceremony. We're getting our pristine navels grubbed by pristine naval officers again? Shut your ultra-wide trap and follow me. He does have a very wide mouth. Sam, I'll give the bear Max, that. you have done what we have asked of you. Acts of intelligence, malevolence, and subservience. And we welcome you into the ranks of the Orso Nostra. Neat. My stuff runneth over. Orga Nostra? In a small ritual with the ceremonial picnic baskets, and then a few other technicalities, and then Joey will show up with some cold cuts. But first, as a sign of respect, I will remove my mask. Which is good, because I can barely talk to this stupid thing. The mole. That's better. Man alive do I schwitz in that get up. Holy fat free carp on a skewer. You're a mole. In fact, you must be the one we... I mean, uh... Does the carpet match the drapes? The code phrase, idiot! These guys are freelance police! Apparently, they still haven't figured out that I've switched sides. He's right, Max. We still haven't realized that. <laughs> Wait, so I get that the mole turned traitor, presumably for the wealth and power that the toy mafia could offer, but what happened to the previous teddy bear? Or teddy bears. Well, we know the original teddy bear choked on his own meatball sandwich back in 65. Yes, good point. Should we run now? Perhaps so. Get them! Get them run. Run, buddy. Sam, I couldn't help but notice that a number of bloodthirsty gangsters are right on our tail. Eat lead, choppers. Yes, I saw that. What's worse, they've got those new bulletproof tires from Crime Mart. Only modern technology can afford to horribly alarm. <laughs> There we go. Is that all of them? All but one. Teddy Bear himself. Let's go take down that fat little fraud once and for all. Good idea. Hold on, little buddy. How did the guy who defected just like last week get in charge? Hey, the dawn is gone. Well, now's our chance to find out just what that traitorous mole bear is planning. You know, without that menacing mumble, he doesn't seem capable of planning brunch, much less a dastardly master plan. Agreed. But in my experience, there's always something interesting behind any door that says, do not enter under pain of death. Usually the best stuff, too. He's got a bunch of maps in here, with what looks like truck routes going all over the country. Interesting! But it probably doesn't mean anything. Very interesting, but also means nothing, yes. This gobbledygook's best left to the freelance accountants. A gangster needs a little privacy when he changes bear heads. Yes. Oh, what? Nothing to say about the creepy golden head? Okay, fine. Mini bar. What's a dangerous crime outfit without readily available liquor? So, not even gonna raid the mini bar. And you call yourself a detective. Alright. Do not enter under pain of death. Signed, Don Teddy Bear. Not much keeping us from going back there now, is there? Nope. Nothing whatsoever, as a matter of fact. See? I'm not even dead. Hey, 
Hey, there's a whole bear-making factory back here. You mean, the respectable propriety of a gambling casino is just a front for the shadowy underworld of labor and industry? I'm scandalized! You two? You'll get over it. You're back? Inconceivable! But come no closer! I know how to use both of these. I'll be honest, we're probably more worried about the gun. Indeed. More fool you, then! And this hypno bear will make you my willing slave! <laughs> you can do the factory work now that you've rid me of my inept underlings! Look! Look at the hypno bear! Well, that explains how he's in charge. Don't you feel sleepy? Don't no. we? We don't. Hypnosis won't work on either of us. But play along until we get that gun from him. I asked you a question, slaves! Yes, master. So sleepy. What he said. Really? Seems a little off somehow. Hmm. Maybe it's just me. No, oh, I know. Here's a test. Tall one, you shoot the short one. Excuse me, master. Shoot your friend. I command it. This blow. I think it's not working. I better try it again. Whatever Teddy Bear said. Yes, Master. Now shoot your friend! Don't wanna. Cap gun. I obey. Ah! Mother of mercy! Is this the end of little Maxie? I love oh, this trope. Death! Where is that guy, Sting? Very oh, the pain! The pain! And only two days to retirement. You gotta promise to team all the Dukes of Hazard for me. Promise me! Okay, so... Or cowards die a thousand deaths. Well, heroes die but once. Unless they're playing video games, in which case heroes die a lot too. So good night, fresh prince. And may Charlie's angels sing thee to thy rest. Yo, Max, I'm gonna right. let you finish. Well, so but cold. it was done best Why by Paul I Rubens so in the Buffy cold. Vampire Slayer movie. Man, I was okay. quite a way to go. Good job, slave. Just about ready to have you shoot him again. Yes, master. Now, slave. You run the factory while I read the paper. Just get the Hypnobear sorted for delivery. You can take them around later. Yes, Master. Good, good. Now I'm off to see what Rye Observation Fred Massett has for us today. Max, you keep playing dead. I'll figure out some way to bring Teddy Bear and his factory to their respective knees. I can't hear you. I'm dead. All right, so Max is pretending to be dead. Menacing computer. This is quite a gizmo. Insidious. Ominous. Nefarious. Quite so. You're on fire. You're on fire. Anybody got a screw loose? Driver. Oops, you're on fire. That might come in here. You're on fire. Little pair of long trousers over here. Caution work area may be subject to bombings by rival gangs or raids by the U.S. Treasury. Alright. This is know. quite a gizmo. All you got to say? Okay, fine. Be that way. Let's see if I can be it. Trying to grab a bed. Buddy. I could use a mattress. I know I've got a protective device in my hat, but did we ever figure out why you can't be hypnotized? It's a mystery, Sam. I attribute it to my superior intellect. Uh -huh. hmm. Do you have a runner-up theory? I've lost so many Q-tips in my ears that they prevent me from hearing the subsonic ranges used in hypnotic suggestions? It's really a toss-up as to which theory's more implausible. 
wish we could use those hypno bears ourselves. Sam, nothing's stopping you. The world's your slimy, malodorous oyster. You know, Max, you're right. Boy, some slimy, malodorous oysters would go great right about now. Stapler, I'll work things out. By the way, I'm glad you're not dead. Me too! If being dead is half as boring as pretending to be dead, I'm never gonna do it! Hey, this isn't even a real fire extinguisher. That's unsafe. Insidious. Alright, let's see. What do I got here? Got a screwdriver, cap gun, listing device. I don't really see any use for the cap gun at the moment. Guess there's not really much I can do but end it. Take my your on fire voice box and dump it in here. Okay, so if I put this Framel what's it in this window cover. Ultimate voice box. Because this happens to be the exact same size and shape. But well, apparently weighed differently enough that it's gonna fall off the conveyor belt. You're on fire. Aw, isn't that cute? Hey boss. I know she's married now, but that Kathy is still smoking hot. Oh, master. What is it now, slave? You're on fire. I'm on, I'm on fire! Help, help! I'm on fire, I'm on fire! Well, that was easy enough. Don't know if I choose your fate. I'm on fire! I don't think he's gonna fit like Max did. Nice work, Sam. Thanks, pal. I don't think that mole is as spelt as yours truly, though. In fact, look! Um, little help? Nope. I can't tell if it's comical or life threatening. Who says they have to be mutually exclusive? It says run. I forget. Which fella means I can't take my bath and body scrub with me? Run! Run like hell! Boom. Now there's hypno bears That's what all I over call the place. Breaking the bank. And the sidewalk, and the water main, and the buffet table. You're really broken up about that buffet table, aren't you, Max? It was the only innocent in this whole affair, Sam. I mean, apart from the bystanders and their pets. Buck up, little pal. Maybe Aww. the commissioner will take us out for a pungent meal at Squirrel Garden when we tell him how we cracked the case. He better. For all the hard work I did, I want two, no, three jellied lemurs with extra salt. This is Secret Agent Chuckles. The factory's been destroyed. Repeat, the factory has been destroyed. Commence Plan B. Plan B. Dun, dun, dun. It's been another weird and wacky adventure. Doesn't exist. QED, they're not in our midst. Say Edgar and Teddy Bear. 
No goons, no croppers, no grippers, no thugs. No dips, no clippers, no chippies, no lugs. No button men packing gats loaded with slugs. It's you and me and Teddy Bear. No mafia here. Let mafia please. We're mafia for real. No mafia mugs. Cause doing business.